What's up, everybody? It's your boy Venom Slice here, guys. And today I have a brand new video. Now, um, I'm gonna be doing a one that's kind of sad to me because you guys know I'm a slow expand, and what happened on Tuesday was really devastating to me. And I, I was under the closet for a long time. Gordon Hayward's out for the season, guys, and um, it was one of the most gruesome injuries I've seen in a while. Like probably Paul George. I don't know. Like you guys can compare it to Paul George, something like that. But like, I think it was horrible. It was a bad injury. Like it was just ter terrible. Like I, I, I watched. I was watching the game live. And I saw his ankle, I was like, oh shit, what he's done for, he's done. He's out for the season. Man, I was devastated, man, I was devastated. But, here we are, guys, we're gonna be doing this, um, we're gonna be seeing... I had a question in my mind, because everyone's saying, oh, the Celtics are done. You know, Stephen A. Smith saying, oh, the Celtics are not gonna make the playoffs. Let's see what, let's see what this, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see how the Celtics will do without Gordon Hayward, guys. Alright, so we're gonna check this out right now. So, Gordon Hayward's injured for the whole season, I gave him a broken left ankle, because that's the closest I've found to what he actually has, which is like a dislocated... Um, fractured left ankle or something like that. I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and just see how it goes. So here's the lineup now with Al Gordon Hayward in the lineup. We got Gore, uh, Kyrie Irving at point guard, Marcus Smart shooting guard, Jalen Brown who's actually been really really beast this year for us. Thank God. Um, I don't know why Marcus Morris is not there. All right, there we go. Marcus Morris at power forward, and then Al Horford at center. So our team is looking nice, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Jalen Brown's a god in real life, so hopefully somehow he can play like that how he does in real life in this game. So, without further ado, guys, let me move you out of here. Get out of here. There we go. So, we're going to go ahead and see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and sim. I'm going to sim in one season, guys. I'm only doing one season of this. Because Gordon Hayward is going to come back next year. And, um, I heard, like, a report that says, like, he's out for two or three months, I think. I don't know if it's, like, that's how much he's out for or he's out, like, that's how much he's got to, like, recover for. I don't know, but that's what I heard, like, a report about that. So, he might come back for, like, at the end of the season, or maybe in the playoffs, we'll see what happens though. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to get this started. I'm not going to trade or anything. I'm just going to sim it and talk to y'all while I'm doing it. So here we go. Just one season with Gordon. See, without Gordon Hayward on the team, Kyrie Irving all by himself. Um, I'm the um, ooh, nah, I'm good. So yeah, guys, I was like, it was um, it was bad, but we we kept we kept really close to the Cavs. Where I was really impressed with our team. We lost the Bucks and we won last night, so against the 76ers. So they're still hoping our season, guys. I don't think we're that bad, but right now we're two and two and six. We just lost to the Kings. How? Oh yeah, the Thunder did pretty well last um their night. Um, Carmelo, Paul George, and all of them. They did really well. Paul George had 28 points. Melo had 22. Russell had a triple double. Like they were really, they were awesome out there. Yeah, that's a terrible trade. But I'm really hoping Jalen Brown can step up and be a god like he has been so far this season. He's been really good for us. I mean, Kyrie's been decent, you know what I'm saying? He's been pretty good. He played all right against the Cavs. Oh, no, I don't want that trade. They keep offering me trash trades. I'm, I'm, I'm about to disable them. Let me know, guys. Um, You think that you think the Celtics are going to make the playoffs this season? Let me know in the comments below if you guys think that. Um, I still have hope. And everyone was texting me, like, trolling me and stuff like that. I still have, I still have faith in the Celtics, bro. We're going we're gonna to somehow pull it out. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you, like, the stats in the season and stuff like that about them. We're losing a lot. 17 losses right now? Shit. And look at this shit. What the fuck is this? I gotta fix the fucking rosters. Oh, God. Oh, he can play through it. Alright, you're playing through it. The fuck? You're playing through it. Oh, yeah, that also reminds me, guys. Um, The reason why this video is not up yesterday is because um, I was playing basketball. Just street ball, stuff like that. I went for a rebound. Some guy, some asshole, um, swept me from under my feet. It's all midair, and my, I was like sideways in the air, and I landed on my elbow. Man, I, I got up, I felt fine, I kept playing, and then like I went to sit, sit down, and I it was hurting like a bitch. I don't know what it is, guys. I hope it's not broken, but see what happens. My mom thinks it's, just, it's probably bruised elbow. Hopefully, I, hopefully it's just bruised. But that's you know I got injuries as well, so that's fantastic. So our our records looking asses right now. Like what the fuck? All these trades are ass too. Like why do teams keep tra uh, giving me ass trades? Ooh, hold up a second. This trade's actually not bad. I get Patrick Beverly, and I trade away Marcus Morris. But we won't have a power forward, so I'm going to have to decline the trade. Patrick Beverly would be a nice uh, defensive player off the bench, but like, oh, and Marcus Morris gets injured as soon as, okay, dope. Is he, can you play through it? You can play through it. All right, you're playing then. Don't, don't cry like a little bitch. You're still going to play. 
Yeah, but I swear to God, guys, I feel like the Nike jerseys that they have now, they're like, it's like a curse, you feel me? Because Jeremy Lin's out for the season, George, Gordon Hayward's out for the season, R jerseys are getting ripped. You saw LeBron James' jersey got ripped in half in the Celtics game. I mean, uh, these jerseys are ass, bro. Like, like God damn, like, it's like a curse or some shit. Yeah, and how about Lonzo last night coming back from that three point uh, performance to now almost a triple double? Looks like one, he was one assist away from a triple double. That's that's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, like LeVar Ball said, it's just one game, so we're going to see how he plays for the rest of the season. So the trade deadline went 25 and 34, so it looks like without Gordon Hayward, the Celtics won't make the playoffs, so hopefully it's not really actually what's going to happen. And then, fuck it, damn it, dude. At least, you're a, at least you're a bench player, though. That's all that matters. All right, as we near the end of the season, guys, look at the record, 29 and 42. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. So, to come to a conclusion, right now I should be scared as a Celtics fan. I should be scared that Gordon Hayward's out for season because look at the record. I mean, if this is actually what happens, man, we're, we're done. We're done for. And that's the end of the season, guys. We've missed the playoffs. James Harden wins MVP. Um, Lonzo Ball wins Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin is um, six man of the year. Obviously, that's not going to happen because he's injured for the whole season. Hassan Whiteside is defensive player. Most improved is Enos Cantor. I can see that. He was balling uh, the other day. He seemed pretty nice. Mike D'Antoni, 68 and 14. The Rockets are pretty tough, man. They're, they're pretty tough. Let's see the let's see the all team. So we got James Harden, Chris Paul, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then uh, Demarcus Cousins at the center. Did look, uh, Kyrie ever make any teams? No, he didn't make a single team. Wow, defensive teams. Wow, okay. So look, Kyrie didn't make any um any teams, any NBA teams. Let's see what his stats were though. Twenty six points per game, three rebounds, four assists. I mean, that could happen. That might happen in real life. I could see that. Marcus Morris second uh player stats. If you guys want to look at your stats, here they here they are. I'm just gonna go down the list and just show you all of them. And then, yeah, so without Gordon Hayward, guys, we would be we'd be 35 and 47 without Gordon Hayward. So hopefully Gordon Hayward's okay, and hopefully this not this uh, this doesn't actually happen in real life. I'm gonna go ahead and send the the playoffs see who actually wins the championship. So. And what what do you know, guys? The Warriors won the championship. Oh great, that's so surprising to so the Cavs. Wow, the Warriors and Cavs once again the fourth time in a row. Wow, what a big shock. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm a little short video, I know. Um, i got to get to work here in about an hour or so. I'm going to get this video out. I might stream later tonight, guys, if I'm really feeling up to it. His arm, my arm's going to hurt during work, so I'm going to get fucked. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button, guys. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I have 650, 650 subscribers right now. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for that. We're almost to 1,000. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Venom Gang is out.